day. That's a weird way to do your hair. I know, it's because I'm dyeing it today. Um, if you can't hear me properly, it's because my microphone is over there. Um, I can't really have it on my person while I'm dyeing my hair. You might also hear a lot of this. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have professional gloves. I am not a professional, but I wanted to do my hair today. Um, and I'll explain why. Today is just going to be like a girl chat kind of day. Um, I don't really, I'm planning on going out later with a friend and I want to change my hair because I've had this blonde in for a while and to be honest a lot has changed in my life and I just want a different colour. Um, so I'm going to be using two greens. This one is like a silvery pine goopy green and I'm going to do my fringe with that and then later on I will do a darker green. Um, my mirror is over here if you couldn't tell. I don't know if you can see it or not but um, yeah I'm going to try do my best not to get this on the floor or on anything that it's not meant to be on but I'm really tired of this blonde hair and I just want a new colour in my head right now. Um, yes. I want to feel like a new woman. Um, for those of you who are worried about me, I promise you I'm in a good place in life. Like, I've solved my existential crises. I'm seeing a professional. I will be fine. I promise you. Um, I just want a new colour. I just want to have some fun. I mean, you were around for when, um, I dyed all my hair blonde. And this was fun. This was a cool, fun summer look. But to be honest, it's kind of getting a little duller because <sighs> it's a long story. Um, it's a long story. <laughs> uh, my All my toner stuff is actually at my ex-boyfriend's house. And I say ex-boyfriend because I feel as though I have waited enough of um, a time. And I will not be going into the details of it, but um, I ended my relationship and it was one of the most difficult things that I you know had to, ever had to do because it just Ed is a really nice guy like there is no denying that Ed is a really nice guy but we just weren't really meant for each other um I don't think um I have you know a history of being with very controlling guys and Ed just wasn't that and I thought that maybe that meant that I had found a relationship to stick by but I realized that I had reversed the roles and I was being the controlling one so and Ed would never break up with me like never um so I had to break that off I really don't want to go into the details of it but I had to break off my relationship and it was really painful. Um, I certainly always thought that being the one to be dumped would be the worst thing ever because I've also been dumped before. I never thought that it would be just as difficult if not more excruciating to be the person to dump the other person especially when you really really care about them um, and you want the best for them and the you know you want the best for yourself as well but you also don't want to hurt them. Uh, so in light of that and in light of the fact that it is carnival on saturday and sunday um i wanted a new color uh so here we are welcome to my video um and i did pledge to make more girl chat videos so this is what this is uh i apologize if this is not what you were looking forward to on a you know a friday afternoon evening morning you know wherever you are or even saturday if you're in australia um, but I apologize if this is not what you were looking forward to, but this is what we, this is what you have, girl. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to try and should have put Vaseline all over my neck and forehead. As you can see, I'm really depositing all the color on my skin and my scalp, which is where it's not meant to be. Um, I should have also got a few hair ties, but like, let's talk about this blonde for a second. So... Everybody and their mother fucking told me 
if you go blonde it will not suit you and bitch does it suit me like i am going blonde every summer are you kidding me like look at all my instagram pictures with my blonde ass fucking hair i am living for i lived for this color and like it was a little bit more blonde like earlier in the summer now it's gone a little dull because as i said all my toning uh, equipment is still at my ex's house and I'm not ready to just like go over there and fucking demand it back but um yeah um let me get a hair tie give me a second so this is gonna be my fringe and I'm just gonna tie it up here because the rest of my head is gonna be a completely different green well, not completely different, just slightly different. I've kind of tested this colour back when I was having my existential crisis. I had tested this colour in my hair and it becomes like a, a silvery green, which I'm all about. Um, but I kind of want a darker green. Let me see if I can show you this image. Look how beautiful. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, but look how beautiful that hair is. This is the hair I want and I needed blonde. Green is like one of those colours you have to really lighten your hair to get. Um, it, it's, it's one of those annoying fucking colours that you have to really lighten your hair to get. So, I thought, let's do blonde for the summer, and then we can do whatever the fuck colour we want the rest of the year. Um, I don't know what anyone except my best friend Alicia will think of this, um, but, I mean, I'm excited, and... Typically, like, cool tone colours are not my thing. I did go, like, really bright blue at one point, and I absolutely detested that experience. Not only because of the colour. I don't think it was entirely the colour's fault. Oh, one thing you have to know about bleaching your hair, girl, does it make it dry? And I'm hoping that this, like, semi-permanent colour is gonna kind of revive it a little bit. Um... And I've been conditioning it, like, every single time I wash it, like, I supreme fucking condition it. But it's still so dry, especially when it gets, like, dirty. Which is weird, because my normal hair, like, when my normal hair gets dirty, it just gets oily and less tangled. So I don't... I don't know how you, you blondies fucking do this. Like, what the fuck? But, like, you can tell that that's, like, a different colour. I wonder how it's going to deposit, and I hope it's pretty, because if it isn't, I'm just going to go out and get another colour. And these, like, while it's not the... It's certainly not as expensive as getting your hair done at a hairdresser's. Girl, is it still expensive? But, um, Jenna Marbles has... Who is my queen, and who is everything I fucking aspire to be. She has always said that life is too short to have non-exciting hair. So here we are, bitch. Um... But yeah, I just want to be a green fucking mermaid and I want to shine on the carny dance floor. You know what I'm saying? Like, life's too fucking short to just be sitting around with brunette hair. Um, but continuing with my blonde story, every single fucking hairdresser I went to because I didn't want to bleach at home because I had never done it before that time that I filmed it on camera. Um, every single time that I went to a hairdresser, they would tell me that, oh, it would take too many sessions, it would cost too much, you, you wouldn't even look good in it. And bitch, look how good I looked in blonde. I'm going blonde every summer. Are you kidding me? Um, and then, the rest of the year, I can just utilise this blonde hair and get semi-permanent colours and just put whatever the fuck colour I want. Like, all these colours fade out, even the darkest of them. I think the most difficult to get out of my head was blue, like that bright neon fucking blue was the most difficult, but, 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 the dark blue that I put in earlier this year, that came out in like no time, it just became silver, and I was like here for it, um, so, I'm, this is like a foolproof plan of how I can go forward dyeing my hair, and honestly, I thought like, after getting that fucking blue, um, the original one, the neon one, I liked, I quite liked the dark one, I might go back to that, but it just looks like my natural hair, which is like everything I'm trying to escape here, um, but, uh, I thought after, like, dyeing my hair neon blue, that was gonna be, like, the last time I experimented with my hair, but here we are, like, two years, a year, a year afterwards, and I'm still doing this, doing this to my head, um, 
Also, for those of you who are not experimenting with your hair, what are you doing? This is the most fun ever. Like, ever. Like, I don't know how you aren't doing this constantly to your hair. Um, make sure that this color deposits well. <gasps> it's leaking, no. Stop leaking. Oh, got it on my neck. Awesome. Brilliant. Amazing. I'm really excited for this colour. I've been wanting to do this colour all summer and it's finally time, bitch. So, the reason why I wanted to do more of these like girl talky kind of videos where I just like sit behind a camera, do my own thing and just talk at you the reason why I wanted to do it so much was because when I was like in my dad's house depressed as fuck like no friends nothing and literally like no friends everyone had fucking abandoned me um, all I did was watch like YouTube videos and it wasn't because I necessarily enjoyed the content I mean that there was that the content was good but also because I was just so fucking lonely and um, like those videos really helped me just like relax and just get on with my life you know like even if it was a shitty life I had like that tiny little voice at the end of the day that would talk to me about video games or like their day or like their dogs and it would just like soothe me it would just I would just fall asleep to it or like it, it just felt as though I was spending my time with someone who you know had taken a couple of minutes out of their day to spend time with me even though that's not true you know there is a wider audience to youtube but it it really did help me so this is why i'm here this week and i'm just like dyeing my fucking hair and for those of you who are too afraid to do it i will do anything to my hair so please leave your suggestions in the comments below because if you tell me to do some crazy shit nine out of ten times i probably will do it because like I said, life is too short, most of it's meaningless and fruitless, so why not have some fun while we're here, you know? Let's just adopt that hedonist lifestyle that everyone is just telling us to avoid because there's an afterlife or some shit. Okay, I need to get this to deposit a little bit. This is why people are like, you should use a fucking bowl and a fucking brush. Like, bitch, I don't have time for that. I don't have time. So, I mean, you guys can preemptively tell me what you think this color is going to look like on my head. Because I'm just going to do like the before, which is this, and then, you know, just do a little reveal afterwards, after it's like washed and dried and shit. Um, but you guys can like roast me in the comments and tell me if this is a bad choice. Because right now, I feel like this is the best choice that I've made for my hair in a while. Because I know as soon as I wash it, it's going to be all like nice and shiny and not blonde um I'm, I'm done with this blonde adventure I'm, I'm over it you know like i just want some new fresh fun color in my head and you know also it's my hair not yours so don't control my life and i've never gone green the reason why i have never gone green before i'm sorry this is going to be a mess of a video the reason why i have never ever gone green before is because it's so difficult to deposit green as a color in dark hair and my hair is the darkest of dark hair okay like i have the first time i got my hair bleached i got highlights put in it i think i need to tie up my hair again um i got highlights put in it and the lady had to i was there for like hours alicia was with me it was a great day out but like I was there for so long because my hair is so fucking dark so yeah I had to even like bleaching my hair at home I had to bleach it twice uh, I had to give it like a little recovery period but I still had to bleach it like a lot um, and the other reason is that the reason why I've always kept my hair quite short is because it's easier to dye my hair when it's just like you know whatever 
um, it's, it's just short and I don't need to buy like a ton of dyeing kits and bleaching kits like honestly if this this tube is already running out like it's already half empty and my head is not covered so I might have to like go in with that other dye and just like fuck around but that that's the reason why I've never gone green before is because you really have to like lift your hair which is something that was I thought was unachievable for me because no one wanted to do my hair blonde they were like oh it'll get too damaged oh this and that oh this and like I'm sure that hairdressers and actual companies who dye hair have more um foresight and I'm like not disrespecting your professionalism at all but also I needed to get this blonde in my head um you know I saw I'm not a fan of the Kardashians but I saw Kim Kardashian with that blonde ass fucking hair and I was like I want that to be me I want that to be my life I need my hair to be blonde like that um and it, no one was willing to do it. I got a balayage last year and people were like, oh, like, that's really nice. And I was like, yeah, imagine this, but my whole fucking head instead of just like the tops of my head, you know, like, imagine this. That's the blonde that I want to achieve. But no one wanted to do it on me. And it just made me so fucking angry. And that's why I, you know, bleached my hair. Um... These ends are not coming out. There's not enough dye and my hair is too fucking long. I don't know if there are going to be people in the comments like, I can't grow hair like that, bitch. I don't know your life, okay? <laughs> my hair grows really fast. Like, I shave the back of my head. Um, one of my friends actually didn't realize that I did that and I showed him yesterday and he was like, you're fucking crazy. And I was like, no, like, there's a practicality to it because the back of my head just gets so fucking sweaty in summer. And I just want it to be trimmed. Like, I don't... I'm not out here, like, showing off the back of my head. Well, sometimes I am. But, like, I, it's just so practical. Because that part of my head no longer gets as sweaty as the rest of my fucking head. Um, and my, like, I'm a very sweaty person. I never used to be as a kid. I feel like my sweat glands opened up when I turned 20. And it's, oh, it's disgusting. Like, it's so gross. <sighs> People are going to click on this video and be like, bitch, I'm unsubscribing. Like, what is this? You talk about blasphemy and you talk about religion and all of a sudden, like, you're just here going fucking crazy. What did you expect? I uploaded my existential crisis on this channel. Like, nobody asked you to subscribe. I certainly didn't. Um... Nobody asked you, like, no one's paying me to do this, uh, you know, much to the disbelief of many Muslims in that, you know, hate follow me. Um, no one is paying me to do this. I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want. Okay, that's empty now. Um, I'm just going to macaroni this in here and then maybe go in with that other dye because... That tube was not enough. Like, look, look how many blonde bits are in here. Um, oh, I guess this is like the the downside to having blonde hair is that it's so difficult to get all of it. Um, because when I had dark hair and I would just throw some red in there and red fucking dyes everything. Sorry, I'm gonna pick up that tube. Ugh, is there any more in you? Have I dried you? Oh, oh no, there's a little bit more. Red, if anyone who's like planning to go for like a first time color, red, do red. Unless you want to bleach it soon after, which I would ask why you would want to like try a safe color and then bleach your whole ass fucking head. But like, unless you want to bleach your hair like straight after dyeing it red, just go red. Because red is like the safest color you can go with in terms of um like results every time that like it doesn't matter what condition my hair was in like whether it was brunette whether it was like semi brunette with little blonde bits or like fully fucking blonde um red has always like, look there's a whole ass blonde pe are you fucking kidding me i just macaronied you in with this hair <sighs> okay i'm gonna resort back to this pot of goo that Alicia gave me and she no longer wants 
um, and just throw it on my fucking head. That's a lot of goo. I'm going to get this on the floor. I'm never going to get my safety deposit back. Um, oh, yes, bitch. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Get on there. Be green. Um, sorry. I was just admiring how beautiful my hair is. <laughs> and how beautiful it will be once I wash all this goo out. Um, but, what was I saying? Um, so, if you were looking to go like a first time colour, and you've never coloured your hair before, do red. Red is, and it almost, almost unless you are cool toned in your skin and very cool toned red might not work very well if you don't want like a very striking appearance but like who doesn't like just do it um but if you don't want to be like the queen of everything because you will stand out with red hair um go like a lilac purple if you have very cool toned skin lilac purple goes really really well on most people so purple and red are like very easy colors uh, if you're gonna go blue, expect it to be blue or green or like some nasty ass silver for a little while because blue does not fucking come out. I'm telling you this now. I've seen so many tutorials of people like trying to get blue out of their hair and it just doesn't come out. The purpose of blue is to live in your hair forever. Um, that is the purpose of blue. Oh, okay, now the other side. And then I'll try to even it out by untying my hair. And, oh, I'm so excited for my hair to be green. Um, but on the note of being green, I'm going to start planning some Comic-Con costumes. Um, Alicia and I go to Comic-Con every single fucking year in May. And I certainly intend to go next year as a, an adult 25 year old woman at that point um and i'm like really really excited to go twice so we're usually it's a comic-con weekend that we go to but we only ever have gone on one day but we want to go for two days next year so we're going to be planning two different costumes it's going to be a lot of fun but um she has decided that she wants to go as Belle and catwoman um so I'm thinking, as a couple's costume, like what would be the preferred princess? And to be honest, like Disney hasn't got like the best brown princesses. Like, a, yeah, I could go as fucking Jasmine, but I don't want to. And I could go as Pocahontas, but I feel like that would get me in trouble. Um, so I was thinking that instead of going as like a generic fucking princess with Alicia, I would go as like a lesser known uh, Disney heroine. I want to go as Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which I'm very excited about because I can learn some fucking belly dancing and that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, all right, let's even this look out a bit. So I'll be like ordering parts of my costume. I have a feeling though that it won't look as good if I don't lose some weight first because yeah I can probably do Esmeralda quite well without too much um, faff because she's wearing a fucking gown but Poison Ivy is the other costume that I was going for to go with Alicia because she's doing Catwoman and you, you've all seen Alicia she's like really thin and like pretty she's the prettier friend I'm just the comic relief <laughs> think my my body dysmorphia issues are really coming out in this video but um she's the pretty friend I'm just the comic relief like everyone just likes me for my personality or she's like the fucking queen okay anyone who comes for Alicia in the comments is gonna <laughs> is gonna feel my wrath honestly like you are not worthy you're not worthy of Mjolnir and you're not worthy of anything if you come for Alicia in the comments but she is like the fucking queen she's so beautiful and um I'm just a comic relief and I feel like if I go as Poison Ivy, which is a, in my opinion, way more sexy costume than a Catwoman suit, um, 
and way more difficult to come up with because I'll be constructing it and I, I feel like I'd need a mannequin for that so anyone who has a mannequin that they just want to give to me please let me know um to construct this suit and I do have like a qualification in textiles because first of all my mother worked in textiles for a really long time um and I as someone who spent most of my time with my mother either cooking or creating things I know a little bit about textiles so um I would like to construct that suit out of what is essentially lingerie and um yeah it's basically lingerie and some like fake leaves but I'm really excited for that I'm wondering if I need to get a wig because I don't see myself dyeing my hair red and if I do I'd need to get a black wig for Esmeralda um so I think I'll play that by ear closer to the time but I'm gonna start ordering my costumes in around October or the parts of my costumes so that um I can start working on them and I'm actually like really really excited to get started um and I'm really excited to see this fucking hair it looks pretty covered right I'm gonna look back at the footage just to check if my hair is like fully green um but it feels fully green I mean I'm sure if I wasn't wearing gloves this would be easier to discern but I mean as of here and now I don't know also, do you guys want a room tour? Because I have like a lot going on here. There's a lot in the background. There's a lot over here. Um, if you guys want a room tour, let me know. Just make a girly video talking about all the different things I collected over this year. I mean, I'll probably be stripping it down to just the walls uh, when it comes to like around Christmas time because I can put some new memories and just put this in like a shoebox. This is still this fucking strand. I'm going to cover that now. Um, but yeah, if you guys want a room tour, let me know. Uh, I may do one in future. I have like a ton of posters in my room and I can talk about them ad nauseum individually, but I won't because I don't want to kill anyone in the making of this video. Um, I think it's done. I think she's cooked, bitch. Well, this one, I need to add just a little bit more colour. There's still like so much dye in this pot. I need to invest in this brand that Alicia's given me. Because I feel as though like I've been depending on Schwarzkopf for a really long time for my hair dyes. But they, because my hair is like progressively getting longer and I don't want to cut it. I'm like quite happy with the length at the moment. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to edge towards pots rather than box dyes because while the box dyes are great and they've always worked for me my hair is just simply too long for like one box dye I have to get two like that tube ran out so fucking quickly and I know people in the comments are going to be like oh if you got a brush and a little fucking bowl then it wouldn't have run out so quickly yeah I know but like do I do, what do I do that makes you think that I'm that meticulous honestly like what do I do that makes you think I'm that organized um okay yeah I'm gonna tie this up maybe do the ends here a little bit better um, and then I will show you the reveal when I get back I hope that you've enjoyed this segment of girl chat because I certainly did look how much fucking fun I had my head is a different color but I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have like topics to suggest for girl chat if you have like questions for me let me know or if you just like hearing me ramble while I do something because it's just peaceful and like these videos don't really get like the biggest views where I'm just like doing something and talking about shit they don't get the highest views but I always feel great after making them because I get like what I want to do out of them and also I feel like I'm helping someone so if you guys have topics for me let me know i'm just checking like look at the back of my head like i shave the back of my head because it's like it's so functional i don't have to worry about my stray fucking baby hairs and like it's so easy to like shave off all by myself it's so easy i'm gonna turn the camera off now i'm just gonna let this sit for about 40 ish minutes i mean there's no ammonium in it 
there's no bleach in it so I could just sit here all day with this but I'm not going to because I know I'm going to get it on everything um, and yeah I'm going to let this sit for about 40 minutes and then I will show you the reveal this is actually the daytime I turned on the light so you could actually see me in the camera and I closed the curtains so you're welcome <laughs> but as always thank you for watching I will show you the reveal when I get back I know I didn't throw this in my eyebrows but I'm seriously considering it now because I really like the color that it is but let's see how it turns out before I make any rash decisions um so yeah I will see you in a little bit thank you and goodbye